I think as communicators, it's important, especially if you are a leader and a communicator, that we abandon the desire and the hope of being popular. <laughs> and I don't mean that we try to be unpopular, but I think as leaders, we are um, responsible to take a stand for something. And a lot of communicators don't like taking a stand because taking a stand obviously is going to upset some and alienate others. But that's what leaders do. I think as a communicator and leader, uh, we want you, we expect you, we need our leaders to take a stand. If you think of Martin Luther King or uh, Nelson Mandela and other names we could all think of, they stand out in our minds, not just because they were good communicators, but because they took a stand. And their stand was their why and was their cause. And they were unpopular and persecuted and martyred in many cases and lost their liberty in other cases. We all know that and I think that's partly why, you know, much smaller versions of those things we can all experience. We can experience isolation and alienation and exclusion because we take a stand on something. But if you want to stand out as a communicator, you have to take a stand on something. You have to figure something out that you know, that you have come to understand and then express that as best you can through your gift of communication so that people don't just feel that your time speaking to them was just that, but people feel that in what you said you were having the courage enough, you were bold enough, you were feeling the pressure or the responsibility enough to say something and to take a stand for something because you know that taking a stand is the best way you can help people that are in that room who feel no one takes a stand for them or no one takes a stand in that area. And as communicators, and again especially as leaders who communicate, we get the privilege and responsibility and challenge and pain and pressure of taking a stand. But I want you, next time you speak about something, to not play it safe, to not avoid controversy, um, and to actually decide, you know what, I'm going to take a stand. I have a conviction, I have a passion about this, and I'm going to take a stand. That taking of a stand will make you better at what you do, will make you more memorable in people's minds, and make people more indebted and appreciative of you, that you did take a stand and you had the courage to do that. So uh, think more forensically, be more intentional about taking a stand for something that matters and people will be helped all the more and remember you all the more if you do that.